Let's get to the three-year-olds in the ninth race. Three-year-olds and up going uh, six furlongs. Allowance optional claiming $50,000. Running for the $40,000 purse. And Didinger is co-favorite with Keith Sensolo. Yeah, we were interested in this for those two reasons, obviously. Keith Sensolo is a slight money favorite, both at 5-2 to two for Eddie Coletti and uh, Bob Hutt in Uptown Charlie Brown. Dinger is also 5-2. to two. Now, his first race back since June, they had high hopes for him. Butch had told us last year he's the best two-year-old in the barn. I think they were a little frustrated, but he had a throat surgery, and he was back, and I think Butch was looking for big things. Gremlin wants the lead. He puts his neck in front. The opening quarter, a sharp 22 flat. As they make the run towards the turn, Gremlin now has a length advantage over tap in formation. Dinger biding his time in third, then in on the rail. Put the blame on me. Keith sends hello. He's beginning to roll from mid-pack, followed by Perfect Day. Hemp to his inside. Capital Conquest, then back to President Z. Gremlin has some company. Tap in formation up to challenge. Didinger has his nose in front. Keith sends hello, just waiting for the cue as they make their way around the turn. The half 46 flat. Didinger has now taken over. Gremlin fighting on gamely. Keith sends hello, rolling down the center of the track. Didinger on the outside. Keith sends hello, put the blame on me. Now in the clear and making up some ground. Didinger desperate to hold off. Keith sends hello, who's with a final bid. Didinger all out. There's a 16th left to go. Didinger, Keith sends hello. Didinger fighting on. Keith sends hello, but Didinger, he gets the hard fought win and Didinger and Key sends hello kind of slugging it out to the wire but Didinger did get the win and a big handsome colt by Volti Oro. Yeah look I know how high they are been on this horse of course owned by uh, Chuck Zachney and Glenn Bennett and they, they have been around some good horses before and I think this horse has a stakes race in him. Uh, that was pretty impressive because I think two turns is probably better than a one, Danny. So very excited. And Keith Sensolo, of course, named after Keith Jones, ran another great race. He doesn't ever run bad races. He's a neat horse. No, he doesn't. Well, we caught up with winning trainer and jockey Butch Reed and Frankie Pennington. Frankie broke sharp. You were right in the race. Did you like everything you were seeing? Yes, you know, and uh, I breezed him prior to the race, and man, Butch really did a phenomenal job with him getting him ready. and. Uh, he was there the whole step for him when I asked him. We knew he was a good horse last year, then he had the throat surgery. Is he, is he all the way back to what we thought he was? I mean, listen, the way he's going now, he could be back just as good or even better. Butch is doing phenomenal with him, and uh, it's working. Butch, you told me last year this was the best two-year-old you had in the barn, and I, I know it was a little frustrating at times. Is he all the way back now? Oh, we hope so. You know, he, he was up against it today. This isn't really his track or his distance. Uh, for him to get the money here today was uh, quite a job. And the fact that he's named after my good friend Ray Dindrew, I worked with for years at the Daily News, of course, a TV star in this town. How cool is that? That's great. I mean, you know, everybody loves it. They're all hollering at his name. And uh, for Ray, I hope Ray got to get a chance to see it anyway. And hopefully he got to see a few of his races. I hope he gets to see some of the more successful ones.